Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. It's day 17 post-op and it's been a good day today because I have done absolutely nothing. Um, yesterday, I think I pushed a little bit too hard with the walking and last night the bottom part of my tummy where the kind of the stitches are the stitches felt like they were pulling a bit on one side um, so that wasn't very nice and I was swollen and I'm still swollen today so this morning when I woke up I thought right got nothing to do today I don't need to go out for a walk I'm being silly pushing myself to go out for a walk so I'm just going to do nothing and I did I stayed in bed until lunchtime which is unheard of and then I got up had a shower changed my dressings had a good look at my belly button um, which is looking quite red um, I think yeah this sounds gross but a lot of the scabs have, have kind of fallen away from my belly button and underneath the scar tissue is looking quite red um, so not infected, just sort of sore really, I think, and healing. Um, so redress that and redress the main scar and then put my pyjamas back on and I've just sat and watched a film with Coral. First bit of television I've watched in months. We sat and watched Beethoven, <laughs> which was lovely. And now I'm going to get back in bed again because the boys are out. They're at a swimming competition. So Coral and I are going to snuggle up in bed and just chill. And I needed it, to be honest. And, you know, I've got my Fitbit on, which is hilarious. But um, 473 steps I've done all day. So definitely well rested. I think what's interesting is my heart rate. So lots of us wear these. And I've been wearing this one now since January and my resting heart rate is usually around sort of the 50 mark and since surgery it has been over 60 and there are times when I'm just sitting around where I'm in fat burning mode so I don't know why that is whether that's you know the body working hard to heal or or what but heart rate is definitely higher so I thought that was interesting um, I guess the swelling is annoying um, but it is what it is and I've just got to put up with it I'm still not in my clothes I'm really hoping now that this week coming that starts to subside so that I can get some clothes on ready to go back to work a week on Monday please God um, I guess all in all, I looked this morning at some photographs. Now, lots of people have said to me since I showed my loose skin, oh my God, where on earth did you hide it? Because never in any of your photographs did you look like you had all of that skin. And I think that's the thing, you know, I used to wear size eight jeans and I used to be able to tuck it in and I used to get into small tiki boos and you know size 10 tops and it would just kind of tuck down my jeans and hold together and as long as I kept my core pulled in nobody would have known and I looked perfectly fine and slim in clothes and genuinely felt fine in clothes as well even in a bikini if I was standing standing up I would feel good but you sit on a sunbed on holiday and you could see it all and you'd walk around and it'd be jiggling and that bit where my sort of the the overhang tucked into my pants the minute I'm naked that's where I used to feel like a big girl again because it didn't matter how small the rest of my body was that bit at the bottom suddenly made me look huge and I could stand in a bikini with it tucked in and you'd all go, oh my God, she looks amazing. Look, she's got abs coming through at the top. You know, work really hard, your body's really great. If I pulled those pants down and showed that bottom bit, you'd all go, <gasps> because the contrast between seeing the bottom bit and not seeing it is drastic. 
And I demonstrated that on Instagram today showing me in my fitness gear on the same day with my tummy covered and then my tummy out. And then contrasted that with where I am on day 17 post-op. And even with the swelling and even though I can't get into my pre-op clothes, the difference is incredible. And it's just put it all into perspective for me today. You know, it was a huge decision. I was fearful that I'd come under loads of criticism for it because, it, you know, people are following me. But I have to say the support that I am having whenever I share a photograph or a story is just incredible. Um, so many people right behind me understanding the decision and, you know, keeping me boosted. I can't, I can't believe it and I can't thank everybody enough. But even more than that, seeing it in black and white in that photographic form just makes it all for me worth it. You know, it has been a tough few weeks and I'm not at the stage yet where I'd say I'd repeat it, um, but it's been worth it. And I know that as the days progress and pass through, it's just gonna be more and more worth it because the swelling will subside at some point in time and I will get back into those jeans and I'll get back into them without the bulge and without the, the muffin top here that I have to hold in all of the time. And it's just going to feel incredible. So, day of rest. Thank you for everything that you do to be behind me. And we'll see how I am tomorrow. Take care.